You've decided to safely package and ship your homebrew. Excellent choice. On this episode of Doing the Most, we'll teach you how to do that. Homemade brews and various artists, everything from meat to roast. Big creation, fermentation, and ebriation, doing the most. You're going to need a few things to be successful here, including paper towels, packing tape, gallon zipper bags, packing material like paper or newspaper, rubber bands, and if submitting to competition, you'll need your entry sheets. We're going to start with capped bottles. Capped bottles need a little extra protection, so we're going to use a folded up paper towel and a couple rubber bands to protect our plastic zipper bag from the sharp little edges on the caps. This is simple and easily reversible by whoever receives your bottles of homebrew. Ta-da! Corked bottles can go right into the zipper bag, and you may need two gallon bags if you have larger bottles. Roll that whole thing up to remove a bunch of the air, and then seal your bag. We will repeat here with our other bottle. And then we will attach our entry sheets since these are going off to competition. We will just attach those to the outside of the plastic bag with two rubber bands. The reason we use two rubber bands is in case one breaks. That way you always have some built-in insurance. Fantastic! And then we'll repeat this entire process with the capped bottles. Next, we're going to need a trash bag and a box. We will line the bottom of our box with some packing material. Here, I'm using packing paper. You could also use newspaper, magazine pages, or telephone book pages. You want plenty of padding in the bottom of the box. Then insert your garbage bag. This will be your second layer of protection against any glass bottles that break and spill. Line the bottom of the box with the bag, making sure not to puncture the bag at any point. Now, there are a few ways you can cushion your bottles. One is by using packing paper. Here we're going to wad up the packing paper, and then we will wrap the bottle in a double helix pattern to cushion the bottle. Your goal being to make sure that the glass is cushioned all the way around. So we wrap the bottle once, ball up some more paper, and then wrap it a second time. Now you've got the fundamentals down. Then we will add a piece of balled up paper at the bottom and the top, and then we will wrap the entire thing in one more piece of paper just to contain everything. This will be simple, recyclable, and easily reversible by your recipient. It is super important to avoid excess tape when packaging your homebrews because that makes it very frustrating for the person who receives it. Once everything is wrapped up nice and tight, we'll add some rubber bands to hold it all in place. Look at you, your packaging. Another option is to use packaging material made for wine or beer bottles. This is usually available from packaging and shipping stores as well as homebrew shops. You can place one bottle in and fold over the packaging to fit the entire bottle, or you can place in two bottles and flip some of the packaging over in order to cushion. This is my preferred method. Some people might wrap it in packing tape, but I feel that that is unnecessary. Next, we will place our protected bottles inside of the trash bag, stacking them on top of each other and making sure there's plenty of cushion surrounding them. It's a good idea to measure your box beforehand to make sure everything will fit inside it. Ta-da! Then let's get the top of that bag out of the way and fill the sides with more packing material. You want to fill every gap so nothing shakes around inside of the box and comes loose. Fantastic! Then wrap the top with some packing tape to seal it on up. Duct tape also works for this. Your recipient will simply cut the bag to open it up. Then place on some more packing material and let's tape it up. Well, I'll be, you're a pro. Since our safety bag on the inside is pointing up, we should make some marks on the side of the box to let the shipper know which side is up. Very often they will ignore these marks, but at least you know they were there. Ta-da. Now that you've packaged your homebrew for shipping, choose your shipping service. I recommend UPS or FedEx. Do not ship through the US Postal Service. And you may want to check for any shipping restrictions through a local packaging and shipping store. And congratulations, you've now shipped your homebrew. Great job. If you like this video, I hope you'll subscribe. And if you have subscribed, I hope you'll hit that notification bell. Also, join us on all the things. Great job. Until next time, cheers.
And you may want to check for any strip, stripping, stripping, stripping restrictions. There might be stripping restrictions.